connected. Late in the day, it's really pretty out here. And uh, we're just going to do an easy ride and come up here. And we go down the side of that valley there, uh, back to camp. This is called uh, Minietta Cutoff <coughs> Road. And it uh, basically parallels uh, Toronto Wild Roads. See, we've got another one up here. You know, you never know if, if it's like, you know, five inches or, you know, five feet. <laughs> so, gotta take those slow. Beautiful. Beautiful evening here. Hunter Mountain. A little chilly. <laughs> this is a better part of uh, Hidden Valley here. It's just uh, obviously it's gorgeous. Um, but up up ahead here, they used to have these silt beds that were really treacherous, and I think um, they diverted the road because I think a lot of people were getting hurt here for about 55 miles an hour. Ah, yeah, this is beautiful. It's almost like no one's ever stepped foot, you know, beyond this road, ever. I mean, you know, there's little sign of any kind of disturbance at all. So this is really out here. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Here we are at Tea Kettle Junction and people come and leave tea kettles here. I think the park service cleans these up because there's always a different assortment of tea kettles here. There we go. Lippincott. Although, you know who's a badass on the 990? Is uh, Urson. He, uh, he did this on his very first trip to Death Valley. I bet Tyler wishes he was here. He'd be talking in his helmet right now. With his uh, silver tongue voice. Telling us all about Lippincott and Death Valley. That would be very tricky to come up on a big bike. Yeah, I would not recommend that. <laughs> the feet on the pegs. Got a friend up here stopped. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah, these bikes are fine for this road. Yeah, yeah it's just a little loose in, in a couple parts. So here we are uh, on West Side Road in Death Valley. Kind of a low point here. It's really smooth. And uh, we're hoping for some good tracks today given all the rain they had and flooding. So we're just going to watch our speed, keep our eyes on the horizon. And I hope for the best. <laughs> what you got? Sand. What is it? Uh, pretty choppy. It's uh, medium sand like the shit we were in before, the worst stuff. Alright. I feel like I should be saying, <laughs> <laughs> ah, Too low. <laughs> this is choppy. I think we found the red circle. Oh yeah, this is like raw desert here. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Great man, I gotta get this. 
I need a minute to uh, pressure down. This is an uh, interesting road here. This is uh, Warm Springs, or what's left of Warm Springs. You can see uh, the flood totally washed most of it out. <laughs> wow. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like riding off road. Yeah. Oh, look at this up here. Oh, yeah. This is all rotten. Oh, shit. I like that recluse. Do you? I can see how that comes in handy now. Right back there. Looks like, uh,. Craig's got a flat front, so we are going to change it. This is the uh, geologist's cabin here in Death Valley. Nice fireplace. Books, games, a guest book. Raise the flag when the cabin's occupied. Pretty cool. We have some drinks in here. Yep. So that behind me is the Guller Step, and um, four of us just made it down, and or five of us and there's one more back there wolfie broke his case so we're working on some uh, jb weld to fix it and he should be down pretty soon so we're just waiting